guys, and welcome to another Halo video. And with this video, I've been thinking quite a bit about the Brutes of Halo Infinite, the banished Brutes, and really what the Brutes are known for throughout the entire Halo franchise, and that is berserking. Because when you think about really any member of the Covenant, they're really known for something different. The Grunts, they overwhelm you with numbers. The Elites are just general badasses. The Jackals are the most annoying snipers in gaming history. And the Engineers are known for something. But the Brutes, when you think of them, you think of their berserk ability. It's unique to just the Brutes. And I'm really excited to see how the berserk ability has been evolved for Halo Infinite. That's what this whole video is about. I'm going to go through every Halo game that the Brutes are in it, because if the Brutes are in it, their Brutes are berserking, and I'm going to show you the differences between all of them, and just give you my opinions on that. That's what this whole video is about, so I hope you guys enjoy it, but if you guys are new to my channel, I make new Halo videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe, but guys, let's dive straight into the evolution of the berserking ability of the Brutes. So diving right in, you'd probably think I'd start with the Berserk ability of the Brutes of Halo 2 because the Brutes were introduced in Halo 2, but I'm not. I'm actually going to do this list in order of my least favorite Brute, Brute Berserk ability all the way to my favorite throughout all the Halo games. So starting off with my least favorite Berserk ability of all the Brutes throughout all the Halo games, I'm going to have to go with the Brutes of Halo Reach. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys thought the Brutes of Halo Reach didn't have a Berserk ability the more you thought about it. But guys... They do. It's just really lame, and that's probably why you didn't realize that they even had one in the first place. The standard brute, when it berserks in Halo Reach, it literally just stomps its foot in anger just one time, one little stomp, and then it runs at you with its standard running animation and it then just proceeds to melee you to death. It's really quite unremarkable, and a lot of the times, why, and it's really why it's the very bottom of my Brute Berserk list, is because a lot of the times, if you don't see them do that initial stomp on the ground, you don't even know they're berserking. They have no special animation, they just run at you, and then proceed to melee you with that basic hit, and, and, and it's the only Brute throughout all the Halo franchise that when it's berserking, you can't tell immediately if it's berserking. If you didn't see that initial stomp, you have no idea what he's doing until he's just standing there meleeing you to death. That's it. It's really quite unremarkable. That's why it's at the bottom. Let's move on to the next one. Now, ranking the next two Berserk abilities on this list is actually kind of tricky for me because I really like the next two. I really love them both because they're both so unique, but I decided that this one is going to be next, so I'm sticking my gun. So the next Berserk ability on this list is the Brutes of Halo 2. The original Brutes, the original Brutes Berserking ability, guys, is no joke. These Brutes will kick your ass. Basically, the way the Brutes Berserk ability works in Halo 2 is that when you slaughter the entire pack except one Brute, that last Brute will throw down his weapon in anger, get down on his haunches, and run at you and proceed to beat your ass with hammer fist, dude. It's actually quite hysterical. I love it, but guys, these brutes, no joke, are the most dangerous brutes of any Halo game. When they're berserking, they will murder you. It's it's actually kind of hysterical because, you know, and I, I kind of love it because the original brutes, this original brute berserk ability is so unique. I don't think we're ever going to see this berserk ever come back again, but the fact that the brutes of Halo 2, the original brutes, had this really unique berserk ability, and then the next draft in Halo 3, they had a really unique berserk ability and then the next draft in Halo Reach their berserk ability like I said before is just really kind of unremarkable the original Brutes did better than the Brutes you know Mark 3 you know what I mean and so the original Brutes they're they're actually just this big the, the monkeys essentially they look like big Sasquatches that get down on all fours and they beat your ass I think it's they're actually quite funny they're really dangerous and I think that even for their first draft the uniqueness of them I like it you know it's better than we saw in Halo Reach on their first try and now to the final Brute Berserk ability on this list. My personal favorite throughout all the Halo games, the Brute Berserk ability from Halo 3. You guys guessed that it, it's the last one left, but the Brute Berserk ability of Halo 3 is my personal favorite for a number of reasons, but basically the way it works in Halo 3 is instead of it being the after you slaughter an entire pack of Brutes, the last Brute gets pissed and charges you like a gorilla, the Brutes of Halo 3, when you break their armor, there is a chance. It doesn't do it all the time, but there is a chance. When you break their armor off, he'll holster his weapon instead of throwing it down and then run at you and really why it's my favorite is because the animation itself is really quite more unique in my opinion that he whenever he's charging you if you're shooting at him if you're throwing grenades he'll try to dodge danger it's really kind of cool and but in the end it's just really quite not as lethal as the brutes of halo 2 when the brutes of halo 2 berserk and they get down and they charge you, you're like oh shit here it comes in the brutes of halo 3 when they're berserking they're running at you it's really just as easy as popping them with a headshot and that's it it's that they're done you know the brutes of halo war or halo 2 i'm sorry when they're wearing they're charging you there's a chance they might be still wearing their helmet so it'll take a few headshots to bring 
bring them down and they're just so fast that it's it's quite terrifying but that's not the case of the brutes of halo 3 because when they are berserking they are one headshot away from death which brings the lethality down and really some of the tension as well i feel like the perfect blend uh, uh the perfect berserk ability would really be a blend of the berserk ability from the brutes of halo 2 the and the brutes of halo 3 really the lethality of the brutes of halo 2 but given to more of the more graceful nature of the brutes of halo 3 and i mean as graceful as a brute can be but you know just the that the really smooth animations but really give them the lethality that they had in halo 2 maybe even not quite as bad as that but really a combination of the two because in halo 3 when they're berserking it's not really that big of a deal and halo 2 you you know you got to watch your ass it's a big deal and so really i feel like the perfect combination is really a combination of those two from halo 2 halo 3 forget halo reach but the good news is is the berserk ability looks to be back in halo infinite we saw that in the halo infinite gameplay demo at last year's e3 and luckily it looks like they have the berserk ability of halo 3 but what you notice is that this brute when he's berserking he still has his armor on master chief is actively shooting the armor off so these guys aren't just one headshot away from death when they're berserking which makes them a bit more lethal in my opinion and hopefully they're they bring back some of that tension that's what i want to see in halo infinite and it looks like that might be what we're getting but at the end of the day, guys, it's really important, in my opinion, that the Brutes of Halo Infinite have a really good Berserk ability, because as you guys know, in Halo Infinite, we're going to be fighting the Banished. This isn't the standard Covenant where they separate the Brute levels and the Elite levels. We're going to be fighting them at the same time within the open environments of Halo Infinite, so it's important to make the Elites and the Brutes stand out from each other, and the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to give the Brutes a really unique Berserk ability, and guys, it looks like we're going to be seeing just that in Halo Infinite. But guys, that's all I have for this video as far as the evolution of the brute berserk ability but as i was recording footage for this video I actually ca captured quite a bit of footage of me running away from the halo 2 brutes as they're berserking in halo 2 it it's it's nuts i'm legendary and so i thought i'd share some of that with you guys here so but either way guys that's all i have for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments which brute berserk ability is your favorite is it halo reach did you even know that the brutes of halo reach could berserk is it halo 2 the original or is it halo 3 like myself let me know down in the comments but guys that's all i have for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and as i said earlier i make new halo videos every single week so be sure to subscribe and enjoy me running away from halo 2 legendary brutes in my opinion they're almost as dangerous as the jackal snipers in halo 2 just because i kind of panic when they rush me in halo 2 i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you guys on the next one see ya this was actually one of my favorite halo 2 missions when i was a kid you know i've always wondered who said that was it this guy was it this guy i have no idea i think i might have killed him i might have oh here he comes okay Oh my god, dude, there's- can he get me on the rock? He's just straight punching the rock! These guys are insane! And I'm gonna try to get him to run off the edge. Here we go! Yeah! Bring it, bitch! Where are you going? Fight me! Okay. Ah! Damn it! No! 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 He's just throwing people's bot- Oh, I was like, you, you can go for it by yourself if you want. No, God! <laughs> and he sends me off the ledge, damn it. Okay, here we go, boy. Okay, come on. No! Oh! Yes! Got him! He got. He, he went off the edge. Well, that's it, we're done.